Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let us learn how to solve another interesting problem. That is how to print pyramid pattern by using stars. So what is the size of the pyramid pattern? That is n. n must be read dynamically by us. Whenever 5 is provided as input value of n, then what we need to produce? We need to produce this output. So let us count how many lines. First line, one. Second line, three stars. Third line, it will be five stars. Fourth line, it will be seven stars. In fifth line, it will be nine stars. Yeah, totally nine stars. So how to do this? So how many rows we are printing for five? For input value 5, how many rows we are printing totally? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let us write the code to print. To print totally 5 rows. If my n value is 5, to print 5 rows, to print my data on 5 rows, let us write a code. So to repeatedly, I am doing the same thing, printing repeatedly five times so to print repeatedly the same work five times what i need to use in python we're having loops to do the same work repeatedly we're having loops we have for loop i loop and do while as well as nested loops let us move on with for loop to generate to generate a sequence of range n i'm just running this and just like to print my i value let us say i value so what i'm getting from 0 to 4 i'm getting so now i am expecting in first row to indicate the row is 1 i'd like to print from 1 starting from 1 and print till n value that is fifth row 5 i want to print so let me run and see i'm getting the values from 1 to 5 okay i got the values from 1 to 5 now what I want to do in first row, I want to print one star. In second row, I want to print three stars. In third row, I want to print five stars. So how it will look like? It will look like in first row, I need to print only one star. In second row, I need to print one plus two into one. That is nothing but totally three stars. In third row, I need to print 1 plus 2 into 2. That is nothing but 5 stars. So, in fourth row, sorry, in third row, I need to print 1 plus 2 into 3. Is it? Yeah. Totally 7. 2, 3 are what? 6 and plus 1, what? 7. So, totally 7 stars I need to print. And at last, how many stars I need to print in fifth row? 2 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 2 into 4 so this is what how can we write this in generalized way sir we can even write this in generalized way as 1 plus 1 into sorry 1 plus 2 into whatever the row it even if it is first row then what i want to do 1 minus 1 that is nothing but row row minus 1 is it so let us check it with let us validate it with other other rows. 1 plus 2 into row minus 1. What is the row? This is the second row. Second row minus 1 is 1. So 2, 2 minus 1 is nothing but 1, right? So this is the general formula we derived from. We derived from the given stars pattern. So this is the general pattern. This is the number of stars that I want to print. So let, let me take a variable to write this. So I have written this. Let me write that number so that let us check whether we are getting in that way as our answer or not. No, we are getting row is not defined. So i is our row value, right? Even we can write row in place of i. So you can see Again, we are getting an error that is what. 
int object is not followable in line number 16. Sorry, here we need to multiply, right? Yeah, 2 into row minus 1. So let us see. Here, 1 got printed. Is it? Yeah. So I need to print 1 star. So 1 got printed. Next, I need to print 3 stars. 3 got printed. Next, 5 stars. So 5 printed. 7 star 7. 9 printed. So now, what I want, I just want to print those many stars. That's it. I just want to print those many stars. To print those many stars, I'm just multiplying my star by M. So that I got those many stars. So to generate those many stars, I just multiplying it by M. So those stars got generated. Now, in before, in before, what I need to print space. Space is needed. So let us check space from last. Because at last, there is no space, right? So when there is no space, when, when I reach to, when I reach to last row, when I reach to last row, that is when I reach to last row, fifth row, fifth row, I need what? No spaces. When I, when I am at uh, this row, just before the last row, just before the last row, that is nothing but one space I need. When I am here, when I am printing this line, how many stars, how many spaces that I want? I want two spaces, right? So I want two spaces. At last, how many spaces I want? I want just zero spaces. No spaces required previously before printing this task. So for this, how many stars I want? I want three stars, right? Before printing stars, I need to print three spaces before printing stars. Here, I just need four stars before printing. Sorry, I just need four spaces before printing star. So you can see how it looked like. How do I get these? So whenever my row value is one, whenever my row value is one, then how many spaces do I need? That is nothing but 5 minus 1. That is nothing but 5 minus row. Is it? Yeah. Whenever I am in second row, I am in second row. How many spaces I need to print? 5 minus 2. That is nothing but what? 3. So that is nothing but 5 minus my row value. So whenever I am in third row, whenever I am in third row, how many, how many spaces I need to print? 5 minus 3. That is 5 minus my row number. My row number is 3. So that's why I need to print 5 minus 3. What is 5? What is 5? 5 is nothing but my n value, right? So how many spaces do I need to print? n minus row number of spaces I need to print before printing star. So before printing star to print that, to print spaces of how many spaces I need to print? Let's say spaces is stored in sp how many spaces i need to print is n minus n minus the row value n minus row value so let us run and check whether the space has got printed correctly or not. you can see space has got printed correctly so in this way we printed the pyramid i hope you understood how to solve the problem by analyzing step by step by overviewing step by step how do you solve the problem how do you overcome the each and every issue i hope you understood how to print this stars pyramid pattern so please try to please try to do it on your ide as well so that you can able to solve this whenever you encounter the same problem during exam I hope this video is understandable to you. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. And see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.